Hello everyone and welcome back to 2x2 Gaming and today I am giving you my detailed report on what controller I think will be better between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Now these are the controller differences and I'm just going to see what I look, what it looks like by pictures and what I think is going to be the better controller for the better console. So let's just get right to it guys. Don't forget this is not my final like thing. I want to see and feel the controller first before I actually give my final thing. But these are just by images. So that is one thing. So I got two things. I got And don't forget this is not that professional. But this is all I can find. This is on the PlayStation website. And over here is the Xbox. I can only do it on Google Images. Because this is the only thing that's up right now. Xbox or Microsoft have not uploaded them to their website yet. So I cannot find any of them. But these are fine. These have like full things. But... Let's get right to the PlayStation 4 first, then I'll move over to the Xbox One and see which one I think will be a better controller for every gamer out there and what I think about it. <laughs> so let's get right to the PlayStation, guys. Okay, a lot of things have changed. This is the front view, front view of it, zoomed in. And I have the um, PlayStation 3 controller right next to the um, screen right now, and I'm looking at everything that's different about it. One thing I do know is the the um, triangle square circle x buttons are much more rounder so it's going to be easier to press them that's one thing i can notice and another thing it's flat in the places in three controller it has like this little um it goes down just a little bit so it's going to be it's like a um, plus right here but on the, on the PlayStation 3, but they took it off on the PlayStation 4, and I think I actually like it a lot better because when it had this like this indent indention in it, it really got on your nerves when you're playing. It gets on me, so I think I, that's a good idea by doing that. And also with the analog sticks, they made like this little um, you just press them in a little bit for more grip. So when you're playing a game, your your fingers don't slide off because I'm just I'm spinning around right now and my fingers are sliding off very easy so that is very good the way they did that so there is much more grip and they also lowered the PlayStation um, button down a little bit so it's more even on the PlayStation 3 it was up like here somewhere so they lowered it down much more lower and the bottom of it is much more smoother that's one thing I can notice it's much more flatter and it's much more neat and another thing is with the um these buttons right here, I keep forgetting the name of them. I play console since the beginning, but I never, I always forget the name of these buttons because you just never use them. <laughs> but the one they made them a lot more bulkier, so it's gonna be much easier to press them, and I really like that because the PlayStation 3 controller was good, but it was just so um, you, there's no grip to it, so you can I can just move all my buttons around and I'm just sliding all over the place. I know if you played the PlayStation, you'll understand that, but that is one of my things that I, um, I'm i really liking about the controller right now. There's much more detail in the um, everything, actually, about the controller. And on the front, you got this pad right here, which I think is the touchpad. I think it's the touchpad for all these different games. You're supposed to be able to touch it and do different things. There's a built-in speaker, as this looks like right here, which is going to be pretty cool. So let's just say you're playing a like a shooter you can have this right in front of your face and you can actually hear from your controller which is going to be pretty cool and down here is your ports I guess well these look a little different so I guess this is headphones because it looks like headphones and you can see a headphone so that's headphones and this I do not know what that is later on I might find that out but and also let's get right to the next image this is professional guest <laughs> let's get like a sad view of it now here's where everything gets really interesting you can see right here this little pad this is for grip you see this goes all the way around the back of the controller which I am very very excited for now what this does is when you're pl holding a controller between any controller there's no grip you don't have nothing you can hold on to you just a controller and it's very smooth and you can like just slip out of your hands what this does is it gives you that extra grip where you can um, if you're like racing games or shooters this will actually make you play better I know it's hard to believe but with this simple thing your hand doesn't move around a lot so this is something I'm very happy about that they actually put like this little pad in there with these um engravings if you can see very small but I really like that and if, from the side view it's looking it is much more bulkier and I'm really enjoying this <laughs> I know it's um I'm really liking the PlayStation 4 controller right now because they are advancing a lot of things and are making it 
a actually perfect controller because it's much more they enlarged it they put some padding they made the buttons a lot more um, usable and had like the sear buttons I'm gonna get to that in a minute and everything just really looks neat and it looks nice it really does and over here we got the front of it as you can see right here this is the sear button and this is the what is this the options it looks like options it is options this is the all this different stuff but this is a touch screen so you can touch in all that cool stuff but right here is the motion I think it is motion so it's kind of like the PlayStation move where if you hold it up this is the motion thing if it senses your controller all that different stuff it's very and it does it gives like a little um detail again to the controller itself and also you got the L1 and R1 and all that R2 L2 one of my favorite things about the PlayStation 4 and one thing I'm seeing about the um new the L2 and R2 is they have they come out with a curve if you can see this it goes right like this and it comes out with a curve and the um, PlayStation 3 controller it, it just it it's much more um what you want to call it it, there's no grip to it so if you're playing a game your hand just smooth right out of it I know I'm saying a lot about the grip right now but this is really detailed guys and they really are focusing on the controller itself which I'm very happy about because it's it looks great right now I can't wait to actually hold one I mean I'm gonna be getting this console I can't wait I just really can't wait about that let's go to the first one and over here let's get another screen of the front as you can see again, it looks very nice, very clean. You got the Sony right here. You got a USB port right here. And it it's looking very neat, it looks very nice, a lot of grip to it, so it's going to be a much easier controller to use. And over here we got another view of the image. So this is the last one. Now I'm going to go over to the Xbox and let's see how that's doing. Okay. I'm sorry about the um pictures on this one, but you can still see them everything. All right, now between the old Xbox controller and the Xbox One controller, or the Xbox 360 controller and the Xbox One controller, which I'm gonna get to the name in another video. This is just for the controllers. Okay, let's get right to it, guys. Now they they made the controller bigger. I can tell that just by looking at it and feeling. I have one right next to me now. I can I can just tell that every it, it is much bigger. I mean, they actually enlarged it about. They, did, they really did enlarge it, which to me, they should not have done. I really think they made it too flat. I'm just looking at the first image, guys, and what I'm seeing, they're just making everything flat. They, they're trying to, everything is flat, guys. There's no, nothing to the controller itself. To me, it's way too big. Because right now, if you're holding this controller, you've got a picture holding this controller. Your hands are going to be real far apart, and everything is going to be really hard stressing your hand out so while you're playing a game you can't play as long as you used to and that's one thing I am seeing from this front view but one thing I do like is they changed from the green they changed to white so I guess white is the new um, green that looks pretty I don't know if I can say it like that but it looks different let's, let's pick another picture out let's get this up close one right here okay they changed they made the um, Y X A and B a little brighter but it's still flat I mean this is n flat and one thing I'm worried about about this controller is it's gonna be too flat that you can't press the buttons because right now I'm just looking at it. I haven't touched the controller but looking at it look how flat it is it looks like a completely f smooth surface and when you're playing a game you want to be able to actually feel the buttons that you're pressing because you don't know what you're pressing you can be pressing Y and you want to press B that's one thing that I'm worried about about this um, controller and also these buttons which I, which I don't know what their name of them is I'm sorry about that but the way it looks guys it just it looks too inside of the controller so when I'm playing the game I don't want to actually move my hand all the way down and just keep pressing I just don't like that guys and um, I think it's way too flat that's one of the problems which I have about the buttons right now now the analog sticks which I'm liking on the Xbox One controller a lot more than the PlayStation is see this like this little grip around the edges and on the inside this is going to be allowing for more um, quick movement so when you're playing a game or a shooter or Call of Duty or something like that you can move around much quicker with this than you would with the other old Xbox um, 360 controller because there's much more grip and 
more reaction time. It's going to improve a lot of things, but I'm still not liking how it's so flat. I really do not like that. And again, you got this right here, which I don't think this is touchable because just looking at it, it looks like just a screen with a light. So I don't think there is no more um, Xbox um, button. So I don't think that is a button right there. But instead, I think these two or this one is going to be the options. And this right here, I don't know what this is right now. I think this is for Skype because there is two pictures on it, if you can see. So I think this is for Skype or video calling and stuff like that. So let's find a backward picture of the of the controller, and you can see again, much more bigger. That's just um, it just it really is much more bigger, guys. Um, and it, one thing I don't like about the Xbox controller is there is a battery cartridge. I, there's actually you can actually take a case off and put a new battery in. I don't understand that. I really don't know why the Xbox or Microsoft don't make it like the PlayStation 4, where there is no you don't you cannot change the battery it's just the battery's built in i just think it's much more um neater i really do think it's much more neater and with this you i just don't understand that and i just i really don't understand that guys i'm sorry but i just really don't um so let's go down as you can see i just like these i like these analog sticks they look so cool and they look nice much more grip i can't wait to actually <laughs> to, i wish i could take these off and put on the playstation 4 controller but they look much more cooler or neater. So can we get a front view angle of this or like a um, somewhat of a top view of this? Sorry guys, right here. This is the bottom of it. And again, I do not see no headphone jack with this one as the PlayStation 4 does have a headphone. But there is something down here which I think might be for USB. Not USB, I mean, but um, for like your SD card if there is one. But it looks like it to me. So let's see if there's any other images up through here. Really not no more images but the same front view. And here's one. Here we go. And again, they actually made the um the I don't know if they're called on the Xbox. I don't I don't play the Xbox a lot. Just because of that same reason. It's just just so smooth. I just look at this. It's just so tiny. There's no it just I don't know guys. Um but right here, it's looking pretty nice. I like the way it actually curves in. If you can see real close, you can actually see the way it curves into the controller, both ends. And right here is a USB port. But um, that's pretty nice. And um, let's see what else you got. Any more images? No. Okay. Look at that PlayStation 4. That looks pretty cool. If that's actually another one. See, that's that's pretty nice. That's nice looking. But it's still so smooth. I just I I do not like that, guys. I really do not like that. Um, but as you can tell, I'm going to end this up right here, guys. To me, the PlayStation 4 controller will be the better controller just by everything about it. And it's just, it, it's looking a much more better right now because there's more things added. So I'm going to get this. Here you go. Look at this. Or actually, let me get a good one. Let me go up to the top up here. And let me just show you side by side. Xbox controller. PlayStation controller. Xbox, PlayStation. You can see, another thing I like about the PlayStation, guys, is the analog sticks are next to each other. Here is the um, analog sticks for the Xbox. I know they're trying to be different, but that is very hard when you're gaming because you got to go down. Nothing is, um, what's it called, um, corresponding. So with the PlayStation, let's just say you can get better um, KDs if you're playing a shooter with a PlayStation 4 controller rather than an Xbox controller because it much more... It's, it's different. Let's just say that. And again, guys, this um, just to me, the PlayStation 4 controller will be better. This is my opinion. You, I see, I went over everything about the, each controller, what it can do. I'm just looking at what it looks like, and it just looks much better. The PlayStation 4 controller looks much better, guys. I'm sorry if this is not your opinion, but this is mine, and I just think just the way it looks, the way it's going to feel, the way the speakers, the share button, the touch screen, the blue light the headphone jack, everything else, the pad on the back, it's just going to be much more better as a controller. So I'm going to rate up one time for the PlayStation 4 for a better controller than the Xbox One. Now, I may have a different thing once they come out, but till then, the images do not last. So the PlayStation 4 controller right now does have a better controller. So stay tuned for my um the specs view and tell, i'm going to tell you what specs are better for the playstation 4 or the xbox one stay tuned for that and i will see everyone in the next video guys and don't forget to take care and if you enjoyed this video 
leave a like down below favorite share this video so more people can understand about each controller and don't forget if you like my channel subscribe and I will see everyone in the next video